Greetings everyone, here's Lodric again and this is a game of the Pacific Admiral Admiral's edition. This is my play by Evil Match against Sagoon. He is a commander of the Allied Forces and for me this is the Empire of Japan. This is scenario one with no modifications on the game version 26B standard map. And we arrive at 21st of December. I took just the base on Lausanne. And uh, well, so far is everything going well for me, or well, normal. I we missing the big clash so far, I would say. I take every base I want to take without big trouble, but I cannot take down the Allied uh, Navy or Air Force. This is missing. This is Johnson Island. I failed to take off my submarine with light damage. Missed to the cargo ship because normally well, many of these allied bases in the Pacific they are low on supplies, so the allies have to resupply them. This is an opportunity for the Japanese submarines to achieve something early on. Latest in the second half of 42, the allied uh, the submarine equipment getting better and better, and Japanese submarines have a very uh, dangerous job. So the first six of six months of the war is where they can achieve uh, more or less safe something. I detect some aircraft around my layer and also some maybe retreating submarines. Kill more scout airplanes, Catalinas or Donias with my uh, second carrier fleet. So now, of course, uh, bad weather issue. Sleeping Rangoon. Well, it looks like that uh, Sagoon is not up for a fight. I strike Singapore again. Fly high, nearly no damage. This is uh, a heavy rain. If you fly higher, I think the weather is more, more important to a factor. Maybe it's a simulation of if you fly above or uh, low, uh, under the clouds. Ah, no hits. Something and I only have a reduced spot load. This strike was a little more successful, but uh, there is also many airplanes always getting yellow, so yellow means flank hit. But no, the flank kill. Suppressing any build up of forts. Morning over, now afternoon. I'm now between uh, Suva and uh, Nomaya. But I locate no enemy shipping so far. 
allies detecting my heavy cruisers or battleships. But it's only search mission, so no enemy torpedo strike or navy strike at all. If I find nothing to really strike on it, I can only guess where maybe ships in port. I saw the days before that there's uh, something in this port, so I go for some port strikes. But I find nothing. So it was maybe there, already left. Or I miss it. Wasting too much time with this kind of strikes is... Yeah. First it's dangerous to stay in the same area too long, there's always uh, enemy subs and have a lucky hit. In the... Maybe there are more important areas my carriers have to be in the future. I find here AR. Uh, yeah. And so far I know it doesn't matter the size, how big is the AR, so if I can take care of all, even if it's a mini AR, it's a repair ship and it's sinking. And it is good to get rid of this kind of special ships. The Allies don't have so many of them, at least not early on. Japan also have only two in scenario one and uh, you can convert ships later on, but the conversion needs nearly one year, so there's always a lack of repair ships. Repair ships are mainly for repairing non-major damage to speed up this kind of stuff. They can also repair up to, if the damage of major is less than five, you can also use a repair ship. But if it's over, if it's in the moment it is six major, you cannot repair anything with the repair ship. Good. My Xi'an army, or first Japanese army, let's see this. The okay, goal is Xi'an. Taking out this uh, Chinese defense. Nothing to stop them. My tanks try also trying to reduce the tank value of the Chinese. This is working well. And. I also fight air here. He's in 49 Scorp. Can hold the base. Inflict some casualties on my side. So it's more or less a tactical victory for Sagoon. But maybe tomorrow. And I cross the river with my North Chinese army group. This is more or less the Yenan army group. And I can uh, force out this uh, Chinese units. And uh, they are more or less ineffective. Still, I lost uh, 80 disabled units, so it's not without any casualties on my side. Bombardment of Clark Field is only bombardment. It's a temporary solution, no help, no real impact. My Thai troops try to overcome the base force and uh, only very small progress. So no action, loaded turn, but a turn still for me everything is moving in the right direction. Even not with a super high speed, but it's safe. And I play scenario 1 so I cannot really risk too much. And I also don't need uh, to be in New York tomorrow. Not that you can enter New York. Uh -huh. Good. Uh, air losses are higher related to flag losses over Singapore, I would say. All three pilots are lost. Or, yeah, three pilots lost all to flag damage. And flag damage is most of the time, 90%, I think, was the pilots. Especially with the Chinese, uh, uh, with the Japanese light built non armored airplanes. So I sung this uh, air, super cheap, but a special ship. So I'm happy about this. Sinking uh, air 
NAS, I think, is the most important for the Japanese because this kind of special ships allies don't have too much, too many. So no real big change here in China. I achieved to uh, take away AV. I waiting for uh, a new army uh, or a new army. Yeah, uh, here's the twelfth army. This will be the army to encircle this pocket. So, so far Sagoon is not moving away, this gives me time, so I will try to move over, open the highway to get a connection to Kaifeng to get supplies uh, transferred more easily. And then I can try to reach the highway and maybe take this city first. Once I take this city, then the rest is all locked. In. This is all clear terrain, so Air Force can operate here perfectly in tanks and uh, yeah. In 101, the Chinese are always uh, normally and at the back foot. I achieved the crossing of the river, so no surprise, these are all broken forces. There's a much bigger Chinese, these are the communist Chinese army more or less. They are, I think, uh, better motivated and trained than the normal Chinese, but they are really. There's some elite troops of the National Chinese Army. Here in Wenshao is also an elite army. I think this is the best, this one in the Ai Chang, these are Ch national Chinese elite troops, if you call it. And here in Yunnan are the communist elite troops. Elite. Elite means that they are, I think, one-to-one, uh, -one, like, they have more experience at least. The stack, the, st uh, the values, the hard-coded values are, of course, always, for every Chinese, the corpse the same, but they have more experience and more moral, something like this. And maybe more equipment at the start. So with is fine. I'm still forming up. Uh, so this is also the 23rd army. 23rd army is always the Hong Kong Canton army going to help to take the source. So I have a Wenchao army, I have a 23rd army. I have uh, here one army group and one army group here. So it's uh, always I organize armies around the HQ. You need only one because only one HQ can always give a bonus. If you have two HQs, it's always a, I think, a leader check who will be the in lead in lead this turn for any battle. But if you have only one HQ, you always get the bonus from that air commander. So you need only one HQ for getting the leader bonus. Other question is, of course, the supply and support bonus. This is, uh, uh, of course, if you have more HQs, you get more support units in the hex, and this means you can uh, rebuild disabled units faster. But only if the unit gets the full, if the, uh, the units have this bonus, and if the bonus is there, you can see this if the support is red or not red. So if it's red, then you don't have this support bonus, because the minimum or the 100% support request is not fulfilled. I don't know the China and the Japanese army is built up like this that they they don't have enough support to feed the whole unit. Don't this is a little strange, but it is like this is this is why you have HQs. They give this add-on bonus. Uh, so you can also see the support request is not uh, fulfilled. They are all red. Because uh, the total amount, uh, you can see this also if you click uh, on a on a base, you can see here support and support required. So all units in this space have normally enough support. Then you get this bonus. Good. Uh, Causing a river, all looks fine. So far, my scout information don't tell me any movement of the British. This would be good because then I can destroy the smaller base forces outside of Rangoon, and then we have maybe the big battle of Rangoon. But uh, I coming here with the 15th Army. This is the Burma Army, more or less, and they don't have really much firepower there, but they have this uh, well-trained first-class Japanese division. And here you can see that it's uh, green. Because in this hex, this unit alone 
have only 428 support. It's requested 520, uh, 570. But, and there's also other units they asking for a request. But I have the bonus and this HQ deliver 160 plus 80. And if it's support or motorized support, doesn't matter, it's all support. So I can give 237 support to all of the hexes, all of the units in this hex together. And this allows me to have uh, all these units are in white. If there is nothing requested, or if there is a request because these two are disabled. Here is uh, nothing disabled. Uh, I'm not so 100% sure if there's a difference between white and green. I would understand if this is green because there's a request to repair something. Here is normally no request to repair anything, so still it is green. Same like here. Here again is something disabled, makes sense. And here again. So I don't know white and green if there's any difference. But I know if it's red, then you don't have this bonus. And it is a. Uh, the repair time is there longer. My units arrived in Georgetown, but I don't make a shock attack. Uh, so I have to take the base tomorrow. But my tanks are also arriving here in this uh, terrain. Oh, but this is triple terrain, so normally very easily to defend. But... Um, this units are the broken one I kicked out before, so even the best terrain will not help you. So, normally I would say if the lane troops try to hold this hex and this hex, these are the best positions, more or less, for any attack from the north and even from the east side. So if the Japanese are coming from the north and from the east and you hold these two hexes, there's a best chance to stop them, even with a little attack power for some time. Not all the time, but for some time. The weak point is really Mersing. And uh, Mersing is a uh, double tower. This is all double tower. Uh, yeah. But we don't talk about uh, how to defend. I more or less talk about how I take it. So everything is smoothly here. I don't really... So my carriers are also now long gone already. I cannot stay here for too much time. Uh, I'm running out of fuel and torpedoes. Yeah, and uh, I have other things to do. Shipping around, logistics is always going on. I try to get in uh, more forces to Clark Field. So I have here 1200 attack value. So it means more or less 1000 attack value will additionally arrive here. So I have three and a half thousand. And if the allies have your 1000, then have three times the attack value and we are fighting here on triple terrain. That is my basic rule. I say, uh, have at least the same amount of attack value multiplied by the uh, defense factor of the terrain. So that will be the case. And uh, this is how only paratroopers are resting here. Uh, and build up the new because we have the rule that you can only make one drop and then you must rebuild them before you can start the next drop. And here's the other paratroopers. And this is only my airbase. And my this is one tank unit because in triple terrain they don't really operate so well. So, and these are all light tanks, so I use them to drive here north and take the space and finish this. So Everything is smooth. I mean, a lot of uh, logistic stuff is moving around. Uh, you can see that uh, my invasion fleet is on the way to Port Moresby. Need maybe two or three more days to arrive there. And my yeah, little risky operation to early on to have my carriers here all on its own. These are three fleet carriers, strong like two American carriers. So. It's strong enough to take on all enemy, enemy 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 carriers because the allies have only two fleet carriers at, at this time in 41 can be here maximum. The third will need a little more time. Uh, but I have only light cover force. So and uh, the British battleships escaped so... Uh, but I'm normally here to hunt convoys. So I hope I can find something but so far nothing.
empty area. Good, see you next time, take care, bye bye.